Ruby Donna has been sitting out here, out in the sun. Well, can you say sun? Because we haven't seen the sun for a while. So this is one of the 17 free plant hole from Lane Lee. So in this video, I'd like to give you an update on those 17 variegated, amazing, beautiful succulents that I got from Lane Lee four months ago and find out how quickly did they grow or have I killed them all. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. First, let's take a look at these plants four months ago and that way we can get a better idea of the growth four months later. My Compton carousel is full of water at the moment. Look at that. It's beading. It's got water on the surface. Do I look worried? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm just hoping it doesn't rot. Ooh, look what happened to the beautiful cubic frost. It's sort of perked up. Most of them have perked up. Look at that. Well, to me, they kind of look healthy. Also, what's that one? That's the Medusa. Hello, Etna. Etna is still got water as well. Look at that. My lemon and lime, silk variegated, and best baits. And also, monocerotis over here. They did not get wet. I think they might have a little bit of a couple drops of water, but I don't think they got wet. The gilva got wet. Also, this uh, rubidona, gorgeous rubidona is enjoying the rain and also this lenopetalum chocolate and strawberry four months later are we gonna start counting or we are just gonna go with the flow now in no particular order we had the <laughs> ruby donor first now this is the Rionia medusa that was given to me by Lena Lee and at the moment this is sleepy sleepy time because it's summer here in Canberra Australia and Ioniums are dormant when it's hot and it's I think 75% humidity today but this one I have been growing this outside in the cage out in the open sort of getting partial sun because the sun again I mentioned earlier that they hardly shine lately so we've been getting lots of rain and also cloudy days. Echeveria etna is got a lot well it's actually doubled its size because I still remember before when it was still small like within the uh, size of the pot that it's growing in now it's surpassed the pot so it's gone beyond the pot so this tells me that it might be due for a repot soon to make them grow faster and bigger number four is this is one with no name i call this one i think whirlwind or something like that because this didn't have any name and the center is still like a whirly twirly thing beautiful gorgeous spiral now Someone has given me a name for this and said this is actually an Echeveria agavoides rohoya. So now I have put a name on it as rohoya. Now the next one here is the conch girl. I call this conch girl another no name. So I just called it conch girl, but it's not a conch girl. And I've been looking online. There's a site, succulent selling website that's got party queen listed on it and it looks similar to this plant here and this plant has got really pointy tips can you see those little claws those eyelashes and the leaves itself also got some facets which is quite beautiful so you see those lines hang on down so you can see the lines on the plant so now i have called this now party queen which used to be conch girl which is not conch girl okay so the next one is diamond state diamond state has gone pale in color 
but it has grown bigger and healthier. And this, I actually grew them inside my grow light when it was all red before. So I don't know whether the color is uh, dictated by the temperature. So when it's hot, it goes lighter in color. And when it's cool, it's red. So it's still showing a lot of variegation and you can see that it's beautiful. And hopefully in autumn, in a month and a half's time or something like that, in a month's time maybe, hopefully it will go back to its red coloration. This is now number seven, eight. There you go, because there's two plants here. So this one is lemon lime silk variegated. So it has definitely grown and also, uh, covering my other plant that is here so the best baits look how big it is now look at my thumb okay before it was tiny it was really like tiny barely there uh struggling i don't even know if it's gonna survive and then now it has survived and the beautiful coloration that it has like it's showing its variegation really well so that is also due for a repot or transplant echeveria lapin is what we called it before and as it turned out there is actually an echeveria raffin r-a-f-f-i-n-e so now i have renamed this echeveria raffin and also if you can see that it's flowering there's some leaves missing i've already propagated the leaves so apparently raffin is a lawi and tuxpan echeveria tuxpan hybrid so now it's beautiful and still alive and the center part of it look at that so gorgeous beautiful and i don't even want to touch it so so far i counted nine now this one is gilva crested variegated so do you remember this was all green before and look at the cresting on this one now and it's beautiful so look at the color it's yellow and green with a hint of pink on the tips the shape is actually nice because i've already removed a lot of the other bits but then now it started growing on the side here so look at that so maybe that's actually due for a cutting to be taken but i am gonna leave it for a while because the other cuttings that i've taken from it are growing really well so this one has grown really beautiful pink and also that's still growing, might even split up and grow into individual non-crested plant. And that one is still a nice crest as well. Cubic frost, this cubic frost has suffered a lot because I brought this, I mean, I've taken it inside and it has been attacked by fungus gnats. So this pot here has just been, uh, the fungus gnats were just relentless they would just not leave it alone but anyway but this one is still alive and you can see that it has suffered a lot from the touching that i put it through because every time i get fungus uh, gnats land on it i would just do my karate chop and <laughs> kill them so now it scarred the face and also the solution that i was using was just soap water or dish washing liquid water i think affected it as well but i can see on the center here you can still there's a promise of a really good variegation with this plant as well so now this is number 12. this is a beautiful echeveria orange monroe it's not orange right now but you can still see that it's got the variegation so it has grown much much bigger and I think I have one baby somewhere, but I'm not sure. I have to find it. But anyway, the leaf propagation from this plant was uh, grew really fast successfully, but it got attacked by fungus gnats, and so it has suffered. So, but now I think it's due for see the bottom leaves there. That's all covered up. Maybe it's also due for another propagation so maybe i will try and get some leaves on this one in the next couple of days because it does grow really quick the leaves that are grown from it also grows variegated now the next one here is pvn silk variegated the silk variegation on this pvn is very evident look at that so it's all so those lines okay so it's different from a west rainbow so this one is silk variegated and it has grown bigger 
and also I haven't had any propagation or leaf propagation from this one uh, I did took some leaves but it wasn't successful so I'm just counting on this one growing bigger and maybe do beheading to propagate it Tinkerbell variegated Tinkerbell I have put it through the ringer as well and it's gone tall you can see that and I've removed a lot of the leaves in the bottom but can you see what I see? There's two babies in the bottom there that are growing and Tinkerbell variegated also grows really well. I mean, the leaf propagation actually grows really well. So this one looks green to me at the moment, but I don't know if it's gonna variegate. I do have a couple of leaves that are growing variegated, but whether they continue to variegate as they grow or get older, I don't know. And you can probably see I've got one, two, three, four, maybe five leaves there that I'm also propagating. I've just taken off or removed a couple of days ago to propagate this one. So maybe the ones in the bottom as well, anything that's got scars like that, maybe propagate it as well. So that's it and did I forget anything so that I'll just stop this video and count again okay <laughs> I'm getting <laughs> getting carried away here now so far I've counted 15 now this one reminded me of a couple of leaves of monocerotis that were not successful they did not grow they grew but again they, they got attacked by fungus gnats and so therefore they died Rest in peace, my Monocerotis baby leaves. These are the Lenopetalum. It's not looking very well at the moment because they are dormant. So they're asleep right now. But once the weather cools down in autumn, they will bounce back again and start growing lush and healthy again. These are also my Lenopetalum that are also dormant at the moment. But once the weather cools down again, of course, they are going to wake up and grow. Finally, last but not least, drum roll. Compton Carousel, yay, she's still alive. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up and it's gone bigger. No, don't drop it. Look at that, look at her isn't she beautiful okay let's go inspect there's a couple of dry leaves in the bottom but apart from that she's doing really well and there's some splitting on that leaf there so that tells me that it's getting a lot of water and i haven't watered this for a while and it's just sitting here inside here hang on i'll just put this one back okay 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 okay, okay. there you go the reason why I put it here as well because it's got the shelf here and that way it doesn't get wet when it rains. So it will be a more controlled environment. So the only time it gets watered is when I water it. And as you can see the last time I watered it, I used my seaweed solution to water that. So, and now so far she's happy. The variegation is nicely even out and she is beautiful i'm just hoping now that she will put out a baby and i did manage to get one leaf from her and it did not grow so i just want it to grow baby grow and maybe once it's got a long enough neck i can maybe propagate it by beheading so that's all guys this is my update for my variegated 17 free plant haul from Lena Lee thank you so much again Lena and apart from the monocerotis all of them are successfully happily growing so far so that's all guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video